Clubs these days are throwing around ridiculous amounts of cash in vain pursuits of trophies and European glory. Having said that, it seems to be working for Real Madrid in recent years. However, let's take a look at a combined 11 of the cheapest players to ever win the Champions League since its redevelopment in 1992. The team you are about to see costs less than a Fredo bar. Iker Casillas While his career may have run off a slippery slope lately, Iker Casillas can look back at a career where he was up there as one of the best shot stoppers in world football. Having come through the ranks at Real Madrid, he got off to the best possible start, becoming the youngest ever goalkeeper to play in a Champions League final, when he won in 2000 against Valencia four days after his 19th birthday. He went on to play over 700 appearances for the club, winning two more Champions Leagues along the way. Gary Neville Nobody may want to grow up to be Gary Neville, but I'd say they wouldn't mind his trophy haul. Probably the least glamorous of the class of 92. Actually, he probably ties with Phil. The fullback spent his entire 19 year career at the club. He started in the miraculous comeback win against Bayern Munich at the Nou Camp in 1999. However, injuries did rob him of the chance to get out there for the club's third European Cup win nine years later. Franco Baresi Franco Baresi is rightly regarded as one of the greatest defenders of all time. With accolades coming out of his ears, the World Cup winner had already captained the club to two European Cups prior to the competition being refashioned as the Champions League. He picked up his third and final medal in 1984, when AC Milan ripped Barcelona apart 4-0, although the Italian was suspended for the final. And yes, the Milanista came right through the academy. John Terry Carlos Puyol might have a few choice words to say about this decision, but it's hard to leave out John Terry. However, don't let his choice of attire fool you. He didn't actually play in the 2012 Champions League final against Bayern Munich. Suspended in the semi-final against Barcelona, he sat this one out. Watching on as Chelsea miraculously survived a 120 minute onslaught from the Bavarians to claim their first ever European crown on penalties. He could finally forget about that Moscow slip. Paolo Maldini like Baresi, Paolo Maldini is another Italian and AC Milan legend who rose through the academy to captain the club to multiple European successes. Having made his debut in 1985, he finally hung up the boots in 2009, after 900 appearances and 5 European crowns. But until the day he dies, he will always wonder how on earth he did not make it a sixth, and how Jimmy Traore made it one. Xavi Having joined Barcelona's La Masia Academy in 1991 at the age of 11, Xavi ended up modelling his game on Pep Guardiola and rose to become one of the finest midfield architects in world football. By the time he'd left the club in 2015, he'd contributed to four Champions League titles, fittingly his final game being the victorious final against Juventus in 2015. Paul Scholes Part of the class of 92, it seems crazy that Paul Scholes was utilised so poorly at international level. Left wing Ericsson, really? He made over 700 appearances for Man United, scoring 155 goals, including that stunning half volley which sent the club soaring into the 2008 Champions League final. The 42 year old has two European Cup medals to show for his efforts, although he was suspended for the 99 showdown with Bayern Munich. But unlike Terry, he kept the suit on. Andres Iniesta Jeez, Jack Rodwell cost more than this midfield. Yet another La Masia product. Andres Iniesta was so ingrained in the Barcelona Youth Academy that he was said to have cried rivers the day he left for the first team. Guardiola once told Xavi that while he was going to retire him, Iniesta was going to retire them all. The white faced midfielder spent 15 years in the first team, and like Xavi, has been around for four of their Champions League triumphs. Steven Gerrard Since we're lining out in a 4 3 1 2 formation, we might as well throw in Steven Gerrard behind the strikers. He may have less Premier League medals than Luke Chadwick, but his finest achievement came on the 25th of May 2005 in the Ataturk Stadium in Istanbul, when he inspired Liverpool to overcome a three goal deficit against AC Milan to somehow claim the title on penalties. This from a side who finished behind Everton that season, and who had the likes of Jimmy Traore and Vladimir Smitzer in their team. 12 years later and I'm still confused. Raul Pinched from the Atletico Madrid youth ranks in 1992, Raul went on to play almost 750 games for Real Madrid and is the 5th highest goal scorer in the history of the Liga with 228 goals. The freakish goal returns from Cristiano Ronaldo may overshadow his achievements somewhat, but make no mistake, Raul is one of the most predatory and efficient finishers to ever play for Los Blancos. He won the Champions League on 3 occasions, in 1998, 2000 and 2002 against Juventus, Valencia and Bayer Leverkusen respectively, scoring against the latter two. Lionel Messi Cristiano Ronaldo cost Real Madrid an eye-watering £80 million in 2009. While it's obviously been money well spent, Barcelona Chiefs probably count their blessings every day that they nabbed Lionel Messi at the age of 13. He's been with Barcelona since February 2001 and has risen to become one of, if not the greatest players of all time. 507 goals in 583 games for the club, 8 La Liga titles and 4 Champions League crowns. What a player he is. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and make sure you check out Footy Feed for all the latest transfer rumors and news.